بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم فرینڈس آئی ایم عبد المتین یونس ریپرزینٹنگ ماسٹر ڈاٹ کام ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس این ادر انٹرسٹنگ ٹاپک ود یو دیٹ از رانگ ریڈ اونلی میموری اٹ از دا سیکنڈ ٹائپ آف اے میموری وچ از یوزڈ ان کمپیوٹر بفور اسٹارٹنگ اے ڈیٹیل ٹاپک آئی ریکویسٹ مائی نیو ویئرس کینلی سبسکرائب مائی چینل اینڈ پریس دا بیل آئیکن سو دیٹ دے کین گیٹ مائی نیو اپلوڈیڈ ویڈیوز ایزیلی ناؤ موونگ ٹو ورز First of all, we will discuss what is ROM. ROM stands for Read Only Memory, a memory from which we can only read but cannot write on it. This type of memory is non-volatile. The information is stored permanently in such memories during manufacture. Our ROM stores such instructions that are required to start a computer. This operation is referred to as Bootstrap, B-O-O-T-S-T-R-A-P, Bootstrap. ROM chips are not only used in the computer but also in other electronic devices like washing machines and microwave ovens. You can also see the pic of a ROM that is shown on your screen. Now we will discuss the types of ROM. First is MROM, Masked ROM. Second, PROM, Programmable Read-Only Memory. Third, EPROM, Erasable and Programmable Read-Only Memory. Then fourth, EEPROM, Electrically Erasable and Programmable Read-Only Memory. So, we will start first, MROM. The very first ROMs were hardwired devices that contained a pre-programmed set of data or instructions. These kind of ROMs are known as masked ROM, which are inexpensive. Then second, PROM. Programmable Read-Only Memory PROM is read-only memory that can be modified only once by a user. The user buys a blank PROM and enters the desired contents using a PROM program. Inside the PROM chip, there are small fuses which are burned open during programming, can be programmed only once and is not erasable. Then the third type is EPROM, Erasable and Programmable Read-Only Memory. EPROM can be erased by exposing it to ultraviolet light for duration of up to 40 minutes. Usually, an EPROM eraser achieves this function. During programming, an electrical charge is trapped in an insulated gate region. The charge is retained for more than 10 years because the charge has no leakage path. For erasing this charge, ultraviolet light is passed through a quartz crystal window that is lit. This exposure to ultraviolet light dissipates the charge. During normal use, the quartz lid is sealed with a sticker. And the fourth one is EEPROM, Electrically Erasable and Programmable Read-Only Memory. EEPROM is programmed and erased electrically. It can be erased and reprogrammed about 10,000 times. Both erasing and programming take about 4 to 10 milliseconds. In EEPROM, any location can be selectively erased and programmed. EEPROMs can be erased one byte at a time rather than erasing the entire chip. Hence, the process of reprogramming is flexible but slow. And you can also see the pics of four types of ROMs that is shown on your screen so that you can develop a better understanding of these type of ROMs. And if we talk about the advantages of ROM, its advantages include non-volatile in nature, cannot be accidentally changed, cheaper than RAMs, easy to test, make more reliable than RAMs, static and do not require refreshing. Contents are always known and can be verified. So friends, this is our topic that is ROM, read only memory. I hope you will understand it. If you have any query or you want to give us any suggestion, then kindly comment us below. Inshallah, we will meet you in the next lecture with a new topic. That's it. Uda Hafiz.